everyone, this is Psy Soldier here, continuing with our Let's Play Skyrim modded as the Necromancer. Uh, we are back on our way to Ustengrav and uh, looking for the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Come across this uh, little fortress here. I don't know if these are enemies or guards. Kind of looks like they're guards. See, they want to attack somebody here. Watchtower. Looks like they're engaging in battle against some bandits. My, uh, I do believe my minions can actually handle this for me. Of course, they know better than I do. Who's actually an enemy and who's a friend? I can't really tell very well just by looking. Oh, I got some tundra cotton. It'd be great if I could actually loot this person. Alright. Yeah, I'll take an arrow and a lockpick as well. That's good. Alright, so. Houston Grove is supposed to be in this direction here somewhere. Some more tundra cotton and some lavender. Looks like we have some mountain flowers. Blue mountain flowers. Shouldn't take too terribly long before we're able to create some pretty nasty poisons. Well, hopefully, anyways. Let's go ahead and check the map just to make 100% sure. Okay, there's the Dunpar Wall. And there is the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller. That's what we're looking for. All right. So we are heading pretty much in the direction that we want. I suppose if I stayed on the uh, path here, it might somewhat lead us in the direction we need. Come on, butterfly. There we are. There's another one over here I can capture. I'm going to capture all the Pokemons. All right. Uh oh. Okay. Die, chicken. Oh crap! I just got a bounty on me. Apparently the chicken was owned. Sorry about that, my good sir. Never mind the necromancer out here killing your chickens. It was a total accident. I didn't mean to shoot it. Yes. Never mind the man walking through your front yard with six skeletons following him around. All right. Looks like we're about to start heading up into the mountains here. I'll look at something real quick. I currently have 38 Magicka. That actually leaves me with enough left to summon a Skeleton Slave. So I could actually get a little Slave out here too. 
Unless the slave is nearly worthless for combat. But he uh, could potentially soak up a few hits for me. Besides that, I'm mostly just using my uh, bow. So now I've got kind of a small army following me around here. I could actually do quite well to invest in Master of Control with my next level up. That would give me back about oh, 30, 35 points of magicka depending on how many skeletons I actually have summoned all right we've got some giants over here I'm gonna see if I can go around these guys I could have actually snuck past them Don't know if I can climb up all this. Indeed, I can. So we are sneaking past all the giants. I think. Can probably sneak through their camp here. Hey, I got. With that said, I could probably just kill the guy from up here. I got like three skeleton archers that would all join me in pelting this guy. You know what? Let's just do it for the fun of it, right? Before I actually fire, I'm going to pose an. Poison. I'm going to poison my bow here. Let's give him a, uh, a weak paralysis poison. Yes. Have at him, my skeleton minions. Kill the giant. Shoot him. Oh, there goes one of my barbarians, or the slave, one of them. All right. Have an arrow to the face. All right, where are you at? Yes, we killed him. Excellent. Fat lot of good you guys were. I suppose I could have teleported my barbarians down there. Alright, so who did we lose here? We still have all three of our archers. And I see two barbarians. Let's go ahead and check this chest. Ah! We gained 176 gold. It's not terribly bad. Go ahead and take that stuff. And let's loot this dead giant. I 
There's some giant's toe, goat hide, some gold, and some arrows. We have a snow bear pelt. Still leather lined hood. Interesting. All right, on we go. If I can get out of here. Okay. So it does look like I may be down to two barbarians. Yes. Apparently I have a slave around here somewhere though. Hmm. I guess the slave is still alive. See if I can sneak over here somewhere. Holy crap! I very nearly fell to my death. Apparently, one of the skeletons did fall to his death. Okay, we might be kind of stuck in here. Apparently, we've been detected. And the skeletons are battling him. I think he's already finished them off. Let's go ahead and summon a few more. Oh yeah, I think he's coming for me. We got 149. I think the time for stealth is over. We're going to run for the hills here. Oh, wait. Actually, it looks like I am in stealth mode. It doesn't say that I'm detected. Oh crap, I'm detected. Let's go! I run for it. Summon some more barbarians here. Alright, slow that sucker down. Oh, we lost an archer. I think I have a wolf chasing me here, too. I hear something following me. It doesn't sound like uh, something friendly. What is this? I have a triceratops. Please, you have to help me. I was attacked by a vampire. Really? Do you have a potion or something that can cure this before I turn? Uh, slow down. Where did this happen? Here, I'll show you on your map so you can stay away. Please, if you can help me, let me know. Or get out of my way so I can try to find a priest. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Then get out of my way. I have to get to a town and find a priest. Hmm. Let's check our map. I don't know where this place is that he's talking about, though. A 
What is this up here, though? Looks slightly interesting. What is that, a bear? Something fighting against my minions. I think it's dead, whatever it is. It was a boar. Alright. I'll help myself to the meat there. Alright, let's go ahead and check our magic here. I'm going to assign that as one of our favorites. Because I don't exactly know what I still have out here. Let's go ahead and check our statistics. And we want our minion count. So I have three barbarians and one archer out right now. So we need to summon two more archers. Let's go ahead and get that ready. Now then, I see this. Is that White Run? Am I heading back towards White Run? Indeed, that is. That's Dragon's Reach. I'm looking at. So basically, we kind of ran in a big circle there. On the other hand, we killed a giant. Silent Moon's Camp. Okay. What exactly is the Silent Moon's Camp? No, I didn't hear anything, did you? Hmm. Apparently someone hears me. I don't see them though. No, no one's here. Don't look over here. There's absolutely nothing over here. Don't worry about it. Let's step back over here for a second and summon another archer. Darn you. Blast! Why is it to be so picky about where I summon? Okay. Now that I have like six uh, skeleton minions out, let's uh, run back over here and see if I can surprise these people. No. There's no one here. Crap. Okay, kill the bandits. Come on, my minions. Yes. Run over here. Yes. Run out <laughs> right in front of my minions. Yes. Come around here, just into the back. Yes, step this way. Keep following me, follow my voice. 
Yes. Excellent. Just follow the Dark Lord. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for them. Ah. Maybe it's not. Someone's shooting at me. I think I'm going to resurrect that man. Alright, what do we have left here? Okay, so I still apparently have three barbarians and two archers. So let's just go ahead and resurrect this man. I'll be able to resurrect both of these guys. Oh, where are you? Costs slightly less magicka for upkeep to uh, keep these zombies. In this case, the bandit for me. And I'll go ahead and raise this guy as well. And that should reach my limit. Come on now. How much does it cost to actually cast the spell? Only thirty-eight, so I should I should be able to do that. There we are. Excellent. I am at my maximum minion count now. Go ahead and equip our hunting bow of embers once again. And lead my army back up here. Some iron ingots. Really see anything else particularly interesting? Blacksmith Forge. Ah, light armor forging. Increased our smithing skill. The lunar mace. Notes on the lunar forge. So I think this is the Lunar Forge. I think I'm actually going to leave that there. I'm going to take the Lunar Mace. Open the chest. Now we have a nice circlet here. And I'll take that sword. Silence! Enough of your moaning. I don't care if you're dead. The Dark Lord's bandits will be quiet. No, I actually 
wouldn't mind going back and creating a spell that would shut these guys up. I'm not entirely sure that that's possible. But it would be nice to create a spell that would make them moan a little less noisily. I don't think that that is possible though because I know some people have actually created mods where I think they had like I don't know, it was like robots or something that shouldn't be making noise. And yet they were making the uh, the zombie noises. And they couldn't make it stop doing that. And I know very well that they were trying. Okay, what's going on here? Well, apparently we have some bandits here. Yes, I walked right past these people. Get away. Oh, vampire! Bows do 15% more damage, that's nice. Have some vampire dust. Vampire armor, vampire boots. That's nice. What is this? A vigilant of Stindo. Don't set anything on fire, all right? You speak to a vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. Yes, our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. We dedicate our lives to facing the threat of Daedra wherever they appear. And uh, how do you feel about necromancers? Keeper Carset heads Skyrim's branch of our order there, providing healing and justice as needed. Really? Do you uh, accept necromancers into your order? <laughs> he is the god of mercy, the patron of order and justice for all of Tamria. We bring his compassion where none can be found, by cleansing all those who would offend his children. Uh, you hunt Daedra? And any other abominations that prey on mortals. Vampires, werewolves, witches... But the Daedra... Uh, I notice you didn't say necromancers. ...disregard for our lives is abhorrent in the eyes of the God of Mercy. Ah, uh, yes, well. Thank you. None escape the vigil. Yes. All come into the light. Yes. Including, uh... Everyone except for necromancers, apparently. Oh, well. Very well. I'm actually... It would have been somewhat interesting to actually resurrect the uh, vampire. Might would be better than a bandit. The main reason I'm not doing that is because she appears to be naked. And I don't want a naked woman running around in my video. Hello. Apparently we have something else going on here. Apparently something was trying to attack me. What was this? A skeever? I never even saw it. Alright. I do believe that we are getting somewhat close to our quest location. Let's go ahead and check that out real quick. Well, maybe not that close, but we are getting close to something of interest here. Not entirely sure what this structure is. Silence. Ah, we have some trolls. 
Ah, you stupid barbarian. Damn it. My archers keep getting in the way. Alright, let's summon some more barbarians to replace the ones we've already lost. Crap! Okay. Alright, this is not summoning in the correct places. Darn it, man. But, uh, Barbarian didn't slow the frost trail down for long. I don't know if the thing is still following me. What are you guys? Vigilant of Stendar, yes. I'll stand right here with you and let, uh, let that troll come this way. It's done then. We've been chasing that fiend for a long time. Well, good for you. Tell you what. Let's give that fiend some clothes and see if I can resurrect it. All right, let's make an attempt here. I don't know that I can actually raise a vampire, but it's worth a try. Apparently I can. All right, so now I have an undead, uh, Undead dead vampire <laughs> is my slave. Maybe she'll do slightly better against the frost troll. That spell is dangerous. Keep your distance. That spell is dangerous, my friend. Uh, sneak skill is increasing, that's good. What was I detected by? Okay. What is attacking me? Sabercat. Okay, let's go ahead and snuff down a potion here. I don't know why it has suddenly become so picky about where I am trying to summon at. I don't know if it's a mod that I just installed or what. Uh. 
Well, it looks like my vampire finished off the saber cat. See if the reticle is actually white. It should work whenever I try to summon. All right, how much magicka do we have left? 124. Should be able to get another barbarian out. Well, the barbarians did seem to be dying rather quickly to the troll. I'm not entirely sure that they are the best option. Let's go ahead and take a look at our armor here. Um, I think what I'm actually wearing is something that's not helping me to regenerate magicka. Increased poison resistance, that's not really doing a whole lot for us. Let's actually go for, I think, that one. And for our helmet, hmm, I'll go with this uh, circlet of oh, you know what. Apparently I can't have a helm at the same time as the robes. So that's generating my magicka back a little faster. It's better than the slow pace that we were going before anyways. Not yet at our maximum minion capacity. What is this? Apparently that was our uh, dead bandit that we had. There's some bolts and a lockpick. Looks like the Frost Troll's back. Hopefully my minions will... Ah, looks like they are going to engage. Hmm. Ah, la 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 la. Choices, choices, choices here. I 
guess I'll go ahead and do the archer. And take out my bow as well. It has no charge left, so crap. Run for it, run. Ah, here comes the vigilant of Stindar. I might be resurrecting a Vigilant of Sindar soon. Oh! Indeed. I very nearly killed that thing. Actually, we might have killed it. Oh, our vampire is still alive. Excellent. I'm going to resurrect a Vigilant of Sindar now. And we have a dead Frost Troll. Pretty darn sure that I can't actually resurrect the Frost Troll. But let's try it just for the heck of it. No, of course we can't. However, the Vigilant of Stindar. I do believe we can. resurrect the vampire hunter as well ah, apparently the vampire hunter is too powerful so now I have a vigilant of Stindar and a vampire it would be great if I could have a vampire hunter too we have an amulet of Stindar what does that do Buff 10% more damage with my robe. Cure disease. Novus robes of restoration. We have a potion of cure disease. Some minor healing potions. And yeah, that's about it. Oh, that was fun. Let's go ahead and give us some more archers. Well, if it'll just cooperate. Ah, oh, we have an amethyst. Some more arrows. Some iron bow and some iron hide armor so we've got uh, four looks like five minions out right now I think we're gonna do a uh, Party consisting mostly of archers right now. Labyrinth.
Corinthian discovered. And I think that there are some more trolls out here. If memory serves, there are quite a few trolls. Maybe I can just run around while my archers shoot at people. Darn it. Very good. I noticed that it didn't say I was at my maximum minion count. How much magic do I have left? Okay, I am at my maximum count here. I think we are going to go ahead and save our uh, game here and end the video. After <laughs> that long experience with trying to uh, take care of the troll. And we will probably move down here and find more trolls. So uh, this is going to be a good spot to go ahead and end this one. So as always, if you enjoy our videos, I hope that you'll like and subscribe. And we will see you again soon. Thank you very much.